What's up, lovers? How are you doing today? Today, I am making a video about how to make a girl wet while sitting next to her. Just sitting. You don't gotta put your finger in her pussy. No, not yet. She's just gonna be wet just for you. So just to let you know, you gotta follow some steps. You cannot jump ahead. No, because if you jump ahead, you might scare her off. You, she might feel like, okay, you're a little creepy. It's all about the sexual tension and the vibe that you're gonna establish between you and her. So if the vibe and the sexual tension is not there, it's not gonna work. So make sure you're not like jumping ahead and be like, open your legs, bitch, let me in. You don't say that. You don't do that. You don't think that. That's later. Even baby telling you, yeah, you don't do that. One of the main secrets to build sexual tension is to actually uh, not tell her. Act like it's a secret. You don't want her to know what you're feeling for her, that you're like sexually attracted to her. You know, it's like, you know, like I tell you all the time, bitches love fucking mystery. So if she doesn't feel like you're feeling her like that in the beginning, she's gonna be like, ooh, okay, so maybe, you know, and then she's gonna start like moving by herself just because she doesn't fucking know what you're thinking. So that's an easy one. It's like, I don't know how to really explain it, but it's like, you gotta be a little subtle. You cannot be too out there telling her how you feel, telling her like you would like to fuck her, like you cannot be like that. You gotta still flirt a little bit, but not too much. Also, another way is like, make sure you compliment her sexually. Make sure also you tease her. So she doesn't really know, does he like me? Does he not? It's kind of weird, I think he does. You know, you gotta make her a little confused. So now that you know that there is some type of sexual tension, what you do is number one, you sit close. You find a way to sit close to her where both of your arms can touch, where you can touch her leg maybe when she's laughing or when you're laughing or like then maybe she can touch you. She can initiate, but you got to sit close to her because if you're like not close, there is no way to touch. So for example, find an excuse. Like maybe you guys are at a restaurant and you're sitting across from her. Now you want to show her something. Come next to her. Don't show her the phone like this. Come next to her and be like, yo, look at this. This is crazy. Or you show her a meme or something, something fun, hopefully, or funny. So now that's your excuse to sit next to her. You don't go over there just acting like, oh, can I sit next to you? No, 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 you don't do that. You're coming to sit next to her with the purpose of showing something. That's the lie. Or maybe there's an article you want her to read. Come next to her and you read her the article. You know, you're reading together. Like, find, find a fucking excuse. But don't tell her, I'm coming over because I want to build sexual tension. No. Yes, when you touch her, the touch has to be subtle and not like it was like forced. Like, mm, let me grab your titty. Like, not like that. Like I said, if you're laughing and then it's like you can touch, she can touch you. So make sure you're not like obvious. It, it kind of have to come off as like it's an accident. Or if you guys were already sitting next to each other, then you can do the same. When you want to show her something, you get closer to her. You make sure your arms and your legs fucking touch her and that, you know, you had to come closer because the phone was too far or you couldn't hear each other, whatever, find something. And then, okay, the trick on this one, when you come and sit too close, because it's gonna be called a little too close because you're touching her, make sure you change the focus right away to like what you're showing her because that's gonna be like, okay, she's gonna, that's gonna take her mind off of the fact that you're touching her. You're gonna be like, yeah, look at this. You know, crazy, huh? And like, so her mind is not on you touching her, her mind is on what you're showing, but at the end of the day, you're still fucking touching the bitch, the, the lady. Number two, keep her interested. So now you're already sitting next to her, don't get boring. Because as soon as you're boring, as soon as there's nothing else to show, she's kind of gonna be like, well, go back to your seat, you know? So make sure it stays interested, that it stay fun. You guys are still laughing. So what I would recommend you to do is tell her a little secret. Hopefully it's not a big one, but tell her something that you are comfortable telling and that she's not going to look at you like a creep, you know, a, a okay secret. So now she's going to feel that connection. Okay, he's next to me. He's like talking close because he's telling me something that he doesn't want everybody to hear. So now she's feeling that uh, emotional connection and she's feeling the, the touch. And also if you see that she's like pulling away and not like really... Uh, taking you in, you know, it's because you haven't dealt enough sexual tension and she's not really comfortable around you yet. So make sure like to read the signs when, you know, maybe you show the thing 
and then she's like okay and then she moves that's not a good sign so that's a sign for you to back up too number three start talking flirty to her yes so you guys had that cool conversation now discreetly you need to move on to something that's a little flirtatious maybe you want to compliment her about something i know you guys don't like complimenting i am telling you it goes a long way and be very subtle with it like you can say something like you smell great the fabric of your shirt is really nice you can say like little things your eyes are really nice you know you don't need to elaborate i know sometimes i tell you do say something about uh like you know top-notch compliment about her energy you know your energy feels amazing but you gotta be very subtle and you're gonna have to read her is that a compliment that's gonna be like to her oh okay or is she gonna be like okay you're a little too close get the fuck off you know you gotta read the bitch then after that you just keep the conversation casual you know drop a little flirt here and there you know not too too much but a little so she knows like yo we're not gonna be friends like there is mm, i'm trying to do something here number four touch her fingers yes it gotta be settled everything i'm telling you today is fucking settled it's not like okay number one is this number two is this number four fucking grab her finger no you you gotta be smooth with it like being smooth is a is a quality that some men don't have so if you have that you know it's just like it goes with the flow it feels like it goes with the flow and probably for you you don't even need to think about it it's just you know what you're doing you know but touch her fingers in a subtle way for example maybe you give her your phone to hold hold this and then make sure that you're touching her hand at the same time you know you guys are gonna touch you need to touch the finger find a way or like maybe you're like oh let me see this ring and you look at her ring so you can hold her hand like yes touch her fucking hand and then you can tell her oh my god your fingers are very pretty wow you know you can that's not sexual but that's still a good compliment so by now when you know you touch her hand she has like okay this motherfucker trying to do some shit but as long as she's enjoying you as long as you're taking your time you're doing all of this in a slow manner she's just gonna be like okay what else he has in mind right now like she's gonna start thinking okay what's up another trick to touch her hand is like you can pretend that you know how to read palms so you you hold her hand you're like let me see you know i can do that like and then you read okay i see you doing good things like big things you know you can make it funny i don't know some people would be like well i see you getting married soon you know you can you say what you say you see how she respond like you gotta know the bitch a little bit number five whisper in her ears yes it's maybe other people around maybe it's loud maybe you at the movie theater so you're trying to talk in her ear and not too loud you know maybe you have something very important to tell and you don't want anybody else to hear you gotta find a way maybe you at the club maybe you at the bar it's too loud you need to talk to her in her ears like me i i, I don't know me I, I go crazy somebody talks to my ear, like, ah, yes but especially if i mean you don't okay what i'm gonna say you might come off creepy but if i like you it's not gonna be creepy so you gotta know if she likes you or not but if a guy talks in my ear and like grab me by the neck while he's talking in my ear yo or if his lips kind of like gra graze my um ear like here and there not crazy like not baby what you doing girl? like not like that but like a little bit touching yeah so make sure you read her body language because if she's like what you doing you already know this is not really good for you or if you want to be bold you could say some shit like I wish it wasn't so many people around us right now. You know, so now she's like, oh, this motherfucker wanna fuck. Sorry, but you do. So, um, so yeah. All of this is a little bold, I agree. But if you build the sexual tension and if she already wants you in her ear, she's already like, yes, I, I, I'm liking this. Number six, reach out from across her. Yes, you guys sitting and you're like, excuse me, and you grab something. So now your whole body is on top of her you guys are getting closer so now she's like you know in her mind if she's liking you already she's already like yo if he's on top of me like ooh, what is this motherfucker gonna do to me throw me in the air jump on the dick you know she she's gonna go and have all these thoughts about you make sure when you cross over it's like touching her also when you reach over i would say try to have your arm your arm not your hand kind of like graze uh, her breast yes her titties 
I'm telling you, because it's like, it's an accident. I know you guys are going to tell me, sexual harassment, all that shit. If the bitch likes you, she's not going to think it's sexual harassment. She's going to be like, actually, you can grab my titty right now. You know, so make sure the bitch likes you. That's always. And then also, when you do that, play innocent. Like, you didn't even feel it. Don't act like embarrassed and you're like, oh, I'm sorry. No, you're not sorry because it was intentional. Keep it moving. You didn't even notice. Number seven, read her reciprocation. So pretty much... Whatever you do, if the bitch likes you, she's gonna start doing the same shit. She's gonna start talking in your ear. She's gonna start like being more next to you, more like, it's just, I don't know. It's like, I, I was out touching a, a, a guy on the leg and then the guy kind of like was telling me I'm too close. Right there, I know motherfucker don't like me or maybe, oh, he's not ready for me just yet. I didn't build the sexual tension yet, you know, so. Or maybe he's not the type who knows but i'm telling you watch for the signs like she if she likes you and if she's feeling the sexual tension and stuff she's gonna do the exact same thing you're doing to her once you see that she's doing that you just play along and then you know there is more touching there is more talking in the air there is more all that shit. now when you see like she was doing some shit to you now you can maybe put your hand on her leg you know, you can go a little further or put your arm on her shoulder. Like, you know, you can do a little more. Or maybe even if you're bored enough, touch her fucking face. Yes, fucking do it. And number eight, take it further if there is an opportunity. So now she seems like, I'm telling you, now she's fucking dripping. Doop, doop, doop. <laughs> you know, now it's dripping fast in the underwear. The underwear are wet, wet, wet. She can't wait to take them off at this point. So... You gotta be bold. Talk to her in the ear, touch with your lips again a little bit, and tell her, do you wanna get out of here? Do you wanna come back to mine? Find something, try it. If she says no, but it's okay. If she says, okay, let's go! You know, then you win. So, hopefully she's not crazy like me. She's not gonna be like, okay, let's go, you know, but she'll be like, okay, just one more drink. You know, she's gonna find an excuse to say, okay, we're going to your house for one more drink when you know damn well you're going to fuck. But yes, take your shot, take your shot, because if you don't take it, you'll never know, and go home and you're like, I think she liked me, or even sometimes she might be bored and text you, yo, what happened, why you didn't ask me to come over or something? You know, girls sometimes are just waiting for you, they're ready, but you guys are a little scary, and you feel like, no, it's too soon. She's gonna say no. Scared of being rejected. Don't be like that. Take your fucking shot. If the bitch says no, okay, it's no. Move on, next. Another bitch is gonna wanna fuck. That's all I have for you today. So hopefully you like this video. You like, share, comment. And uh, you can also follow me on Instagram at MeliLoveXO and at Meli Monaco. Yes. All right, guys. I will talk to you tomorrow. Ah! <laughs>